Hey everyone, on today's episode we're going to be taking our entryway closet from this to this. First step is taking off the door. Let's get started. All right, so now we're gonna put a shelf in in here. It's hard, maybe hard to tell on camera, but there's some residue of the previous shelf where it was installed. So we're gonna try and probably just put it the same exact height, and therefore you won't see any of this. You don't need to do any drywall patching. So in order to install this, we're gonna put a ledger board across the back and both sides, lay a piece of MDF on top of it that's painted white, and then we're gonna put a piece of trim on the front to make it look relatively thick, as well as cover up those ledger pieces. And then once that's in, we're gonna put a rod across here, just underneath the shelf, and then we're gonna build a little shoe rack at the bottom. So let's get started. Woo! I marked out all the studs on all three walls. We have one stud on the two sides and then two on the back wall. And I just use a stud finder to do that. And on each of the three boards, I marked out the hole locations that I need to pre-drill for the screws. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the board is gonna, the shell is gonna rest on top of this, so it's gonna be actually like three quarters of an inch higher than this. So I was thinking like, I want to cover up this for sure. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna go somewhere like around yeah. here. Yes. All right, now let's get it level. But look, this wall is not even. How bowed is it? It's, it's bowed. I guess I'll just put in the right screw and then I'll adjust it from there. It's not going anywhere. You do a chin up on this thing. All right, so we just cut the shelf. This is out of three quarter inch MDF, which is nice and sturdy, straight, and really easy to paint, so that's why we went with it. So we're just gonna test to see if it fits. Okay, so now we're gonna be starting to build the shoe box now that we've completed the upper shelf. And we decided, we're gonna go with like a few different designs. We decided on like a simple, easy design that's not too uh, complicated. One, it's easy for building, and two, it's easy on the eyes. So all we're gonna do is build a box out of this MDF board like so. And we're gonna paint it and build it outside of 
of the closet and then once it's all done we'll just quickly install it and it'll be floating off the floor so you can put shoes underneath in this middle shelf and on top and in order to hide the screws we're going to be using a pocket hole jig which is pretty common nowadays but if you haven't seen it before you can put your boards in like this and then it comes with this specific drill bit you drill in here and it um, drives the screws in at, at a slight angle and we're going to be putting these on the two outsides of the sides so the walls are going to be here so you won't ever see them so it'll be nice and hidden uh, so you don't have to cover up any of those screws all right so now that's our shoe box nothing too crazy uh, we're just going to now paint it white and we might put some trim on the front but We'll see how it looks once it gets in, in the closet. But we're just gonna let the glue dry and it should set up nicely and then it's good to go. Hope it fits. It's, it's tighter in the front than it is in the back. Like you can't shove it? No, like, God houses, man. That's like, this is because houses are just not built. <sighs> okay, so obviously when we, we built the box ahead of time and we didn't realize that the width of the entryway here is different than back here and it's shorter so we couldn't get the box in so we had to tear the whole box apart. Now we're putting the box back together piece by piece. We're gonna start with this bottom board which we have set off with spacers at seven inches. We're gonna glue these two side boards to the edges of, or to the sides of the wall, nail that in, and then screw the bottom board in from the top, and then nail the top board in from, the, from that top piece. And we're good to go. The whole point was to try and conceal our fasteners. So we'll go ahead and glue these in now. So we got this right angle attachment for the drill so we can get under there. It works! You wanna test it? See if it works. Oh, I just collapsed.
Wow. Test it, see if it still works. That's what I've been. Sure. Wow. Wow. That looks so clean compared great. to what it looked like before. Project complete. So that's a wrap on this project. We think it turned out really well and we're really happy with the result. If you want to check out other DIY projects, we have a lot more on our channel. Also, we have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to stay with you more up to date. Thanks. So yeah. The that or the the width of the, the, the up close shot of the cock.